Uh, this recording is about how to actually uh, integrate with uh, OneDrive in ULOG. So I'm going to log in first into ULOG. Then all I need, obviously, will ask you for these street signs and all that stuff. So let me log in. And the first thing that you need to do to use OneDrive with ULaw is your settings. So you go into your settings and then under matters, you would set your uh, preferred um, documentation, uh, uh, matter document uh, management system. So right now we support Google Drive or OneDrive. So I'm going to choose OneDrive, right? I mean, you can choose Google Drive or like this, this video is all about OneDrive. So I'll choose OneDrive and hit the same. Once I hit the save button, what I need to do is I need to authorize ULaw so that I can start using them. So I click on any matter, go to documents and click on authorization. When I click on authorization, it'll bring me to something like here. What I do here is I created a test account so I can say test ULaw practice at outlook.com. Right? And then it will basically go to our ULaw practice certification page and ask you to enter your password. So I'm going to enter my password. I'm going to sign in. When you sign in for the first time, it will give you this page where it, you need to give ULaw the permission to access us. And I'm going to say yes to this. Once I say yes, it's pretty much done. So now let me go to OneDrive live.com and that's like managing any other drive right like you know so when I go there and I use my I'm going to sign in of course And when I sign in, I will be seeing, um, you know, the drive. So let me go into the drive. This is my first time using this test account. So let's, let me get started here and go to files. I see nothing there. So now when I go back to ULaw, and I actually refresh, what you will see is ULaw will create all the directory structure for this file number in OneDrive. I go to files, you see that it created a directory called ULaw practice, under that there's a matter, and under matter, this file number D161911 is actually now there. So, if I would drag any file here, like for example, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, uh, you know, you know, take my image here, client ID, I'm just going to drag it here and store it inside OneDrive. What happens is in ULaw, when I do a refresh, it basically appears here. So the file is here and all that stuff. So whatever you're putting now in that directory will now show up, you know, in uh, in ULaw. Now I'll show you another example. I'm just going to go to another matter. Uh, let's say Peterborough X Coppers. So now this one does not even have a matter name. So I'm going to create a new matter. matter. Let's say it is a uh, uh, traffic ticket. I'll hit the save button. And all I need to do is just hit the refresh button. So if I just hit refresh, and I go back here, and if I go to up my files, and go to my matters as you see here now it's created the new thing and here I can put more files let's for example I put my create matters file right and it's here if I go back here and just hit the refresh button it shall be there so anytime you are once you've configured OneDrive under Microsoft OneDrive under your settings all you do in matter is you authorize us once and then you just keep refreshing and you do that and now to access that file you can just click here and it will automatically open OneDrive with that file like you know so it'll 
basically like you know that's my file like you know and if it's a word file you can edit it right here if it's something else you can do that so basically you will very seamlessly integrates with OneDrive very similar to Google Drive.